Hey friends, my name is Dia, and I just love to eat, love, and <laughs> lift. <laughs> welcome. I was gonna make a tofu scramble, and I figured I'd just take you guys along for the ride. For those that are interested, of course, this is vegan, because I'm a vegan girl. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through the things that I have, guys. So I'm gonna start out with to this tofu. Um, oops, I just <laughs> spilled on the floor. This tofu that I have, you can use any tofu that you have. I would recommend though going with a firm or extra firm, otherwise you're going to get, it's, the tofu is just going to be way too soft. The only reason I'm using this one guys is just because uh, I already have this one at home and I didn't feel like buying another one. And I think it's already like expired a week ago, <laughs> um, but I'm, it's still fine. Anyways, that's just, that's, I live the dangerous life. What I'm going to put into this tofu, guys, and this is what it co looks like when it comes out of the block. I'm going to just mash it up just a little bit to start separating the tofu. It's going to look a little bit like that. Not too chunky, not too small of a bits for now. I am going to add a one and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast. A nutritional yeast, for those that are not familiar, has this kind of cheesy um, sort of flavor. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my tofu on the pan first. I'm going to spritz this pan with a little bit of oil. I've, been have, I've had this preheating at just under medium heat. Heat? I'm struggling today. Coat this pan to make sure it doesn't stick. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the tofu in the pan and let that cook out a little bit. So in this bowl, I'm gonna start putting in my other ingredients to flavor the tofu. So that was one and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Oh, mm -hmm. I am now going to add turmeric. A lot of people actually put more turmeric, a lot of turmeric in their tofu scramble. And it's more so for flavor, but I actually don't like too strong of a turmeric flavor. So I'm just gonna put um, under half a teaspoon, maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric into the bowl. So that's in there. Now I'm going to use half a teaspoon of onion powder. And just a dash of salt. Oh shoot, holy guacamole, that is, that is beyond, <gasps> there's a lot of salt, can you see it? Oh, the woes, the woes. I am going to scoop out as much of that salt as I can because too much salt is not good for my soul. So now you guys see that I've got this here. Now I'm going to just go ahead and put Let's start with a couple of tablespoons of water to get this mixture together. So that's three tablespoons of water. And I want it to be somewhat of a thick consistency. I'm going to go ahead and taste it and see how that... Mmm, that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to take the tofu that I have. And I'm going to just pour this guy in here. You can also take the time to um, marinate your tofu into your mixture, but I'm hungry. <laughs> and go ahead and mix that baby up. Kind of just smash it along the way. If you smash it flat down like that, you'll see you can get some like egg scrambleish kind of textures. But I like to have different sizes, so I'm not going to mash through everything. I'm going to go ahead and let that sit. Put my pan at just medium heat. Let it sit and absorb. 
And by the way, guys, you can totally add different things here, like grilled onions, mushrooms. If you wanted it a, bit, a little bit more tangy, you can add some mustard in there. Um, yeah, get really creative with it. But at the end of the day, this is what your tofu scramble is going to look like. And treat it like you would a normal scramble. I am probably going to put this on top of an English muffin. I've had this guy sitting in the pan for maybe about like five or six minutes on medium heat. And you guys can see it's just cooking through. You guys know by now that I don't like to use a lot of oil in my dishes. But if you did want it to get a little bit crunchy, maybe you can add a little bit more oil. Um, but Or just, just let it sit longer. But I'm my stomach's getting mad at me. I need to eat. So let me go ahead and plate this and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the end product looks like. It's so freaking yummy. If you guys are to eat the whole uh, tofu scramble, not including the pita bread that I ended up using and the, the greens that I used, it would be 10 grams of fat, 13.5 grams of carbs, and 32.3 grams of protein. Now that's just too much protein for me to consume in one sitting. And um, yeah, so I'm actually gonna break it up into four servings just because I wanna spread it out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you if you've done tofu scramble, let me. Uh, if you've made tofu scrambles before, let me know what you've done differently. Um, put it in the comments below. If you guys find that these kind of recipes are helpful for you, hit that like button and let me know as well. If you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding 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 ding! Every time this baby gorilla posts a video. All right, guys. Um, yeah. Have a great day. See ya. Time to grub. Cheers. I'm actually pretty happy that I have more for later meals. Alright guys, I hope you try this out. Uh, I hope you like it. I'm gonna keep grubbing. <laughs>